In this video, I started out with $0, a lawnmower, and a truck, and now I have the challenge of building a profitable landscaping business from scratch. But there's a twist. I only have a year to do it. Will I go broke, or will I make it big? Stay tuned to find out. And if you guys enjoy content like this and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and drop a like helps too. Anyway, let's go build a business. Well, boys, I just left the house here and fueled up, so that is going to be $40. So that puts us just under $500 to start the day here. I just got everything loaded up. It's all looking a little bit dirty. Uh, Yeah, definitely going to need a wash sooner than later. But I think before we get to some calls that I've gotten for lawns today, we're going to head out to the local dealership and check what they got. You know, I'm probably in absolutely no place to be coming here since I literally have no money to spend. But but uh, we're going to check it out anyways and see if there's maybe something that'll be in our price range eventually. Oh man, one of these would be sweet. But I think just this mower alone is about $10,000. That's a lot of money. This one is the 72 inch deck. So I think it's a little bit more. And there's a nice little gator here. Really got no use for something like that, but it's kind of cool. Okay, so I just talked to one of the sales guys there and uh, yeah. Those mowers are definitely out of our price range, but they just got a trade in here and this might be something that's a little more doable. So the guy traded in this big Tex lawn care trailer. I guess he's another local lawn person around here. Uh, I have not seen him. Anyways, just traded this in along with this mow it mower. It's kind of like an off brand John Deere. Looks the part, probably works the part, but uh, costs a lot less money. Now they said they'd let this whole setup go for around $10,000, which is an absolute steal considering one mower in there that's brand new is worth 10,000 and it comes with weed whackers and a bunch of other little miscellaneous lawn care equipment so I think this might be the move plus it's a bigger trailer than what we have now and we could definitely fit a lot more on there but enough messing around if we want to afford something like that we had better get to work so our first property this morning it's across the river now I haven't been out there to give them a quote so we're gonna quote them what it's gonna cost to get their lawn done and uh hopefully they accept well, this is the property up here, and uh, it's actually looking not too bad. The grass is decently tall, but it looks like something that's definitely manageable. Gonna whip around to the side here, and we're gonna go check this place out. All right, decent lawn here in the front, nothing too big. Now, they said on the phone that they had three trees they wanted taken care of, and I think, oh man, I think these are definitely doable, but they are tall, holy smokes. And it's a pretty closed in backyard, but uh, I think I got an idea. We'll take this tree this way, this tree go this way and this one will go this way i think that should work i guess they want to build some kind of a patio back here so they said the trees need to go and i'm thinking for all the mowing all the cleanup getting rid of the trees oh i'm, I'm kind of teetering on a thousand dollars but since we're going to be getting money from this wood because the sawmill's not too far away from here i think we could probably squeeze out about an 800 dollars job plus that means if we go a little bit cheaper they'll probably have us back for regular mows all right just got the okay for them on the quote eight hundred dollars we're gonna get to work so first order of business here is to take care of the trees before we get to mowing grab my chainsaw out of the truck here timber there she goes okay second one perfect and the third one man there's gonna be a lot of mess to clean up so first order of business is to get these trees delimbed and then of course we got to figure out how to get them all hauled to the sawmill. Well, so far, so good here. Uh, we have got a lot of tree all over the place, but we got one more left to delim, and then it should be pretty straightforward from here. Well, that's it. That's all. After you cut off all the limbs, there is not a whole lot left. Okay, so my idea to kind of get this transported is really just to use the trailer because I don't really want to ding up my truck bed trying to get trees in there so the trailer is kind of our best bet here got everything unloaded that can just stay there for now i'm gonna attempt to back this trailer in there that might be easier said than done come on backup skills don't fail me now okay this should work i hope now i just gotta figure out how big of a chunk and actually get loaded into this trailer here yeah this is definitely going to be quite a few loads of trying to figure out just how much we can stack in this little trailer we're essentially just playing a big old game of jenga at this point all right that's probably all I'm going to be able to get. Might be able to fit one more on there. There we go. DOT certified right there. That's, yeah, that's definitely going to work. We should be able to fit the next one on pretty easily. And then all the branches are going to be uh, fun to try load up. Well, I sure hope we get some money for this. We're, uh, we're risking a hefty ticket from the DOT right now. 
After managing to make it to the sawmill without getting pulled over, we dropped off our load and made a nice $1,142. And after making it back to the house, we got the trailer loaded up and this time we filled the truck bed as well. And with our final load netting us an extra $1,600, we were well on our way to affording our new mowing setup. With the backyard now free of trees, it was time to get to some mowing. All right, yard's looking pretty good here. Just got the mowing left. I also got a call while I was hauling trees that apparently there's this like new mowing company in town or something. And uh, I guess this particular person that called had a really bad experience with them mowing their lawn. So they called me and asked me if I could come down and mow theirs later today because they just apparently left this lawn in shambles. So for a brand new mowing company to get complaints like that, I don't think I have much worry about competition around here. I'll be happy to take any jobs that uh, they don't do properly. But I am thinking I might list my current mower setup for sale, see if I get any bites on it, and then possibly by that time if I have enough money, I might be able to get the new mowing setup that's at John Deere. Well, that is the backyard pretty much finished here. We just got the front yard left, and then we gotta rake up all this. Which luckily, we have a lawn sweeper. See, one thing that is really nice about having one of these small, small mowers is you can squeeze into the tightest places so you almost never have to weed whip. It's one of the disadvantages to having a big mower, but uh, at the end of the day, Big mower means I can mow lawns a lot faster and make a lot more money. All right, that's it for mowing. We'll just rip through the lawn with the lawn sweeper and we'll be good to go. This part usually goes pretty quick. And they said just to dump it in the back of the yard and uh, they'll burn it later. Once it all dries out, saves them the dump fee, I guess. Well, lawn is raked and there's a big old pile of grass here. They'll deal with that. I'm going to get all loaded up and hopefully wash this thing before we head to our next job because it is filthy actually maybe after our next job yes yeah, because we're gonna get dirty anyway i guess okay all loaded up let's go grab our paycheck and i think while i'm down here i might go grab some lunch from mcdonald's they gave me a discount since i mow their lawn and eight hundred dollars holy smokes that brings us up to four thousand dollars dang we're almost halfway there we're at ten thousand dollar goal so we can get ourselves a new lawn mowing setup well just popped by the mcdonald's here and uh, they recognized me so they gave me my meal for free sweet well let's go to the next mowing job holy smokes well here we are. Uh, this is apparently the lawn that uh, my competitor, I don't even know if I, should, if I should call him that because this is the way they left it. My competitor, Riverside Landscaping, this is how they left the lawn. They haven't even been back to mow it. Uh, there's ruts everywhere on the lawn. There's grass still everywhere. Is that wood chips? Apparently they cut down a tree and then they left the chunks that they didn't want of the tree just all piled up next to the trash cans. Like, really? This is the way they're leaving lawns? Well. I think I can uh, definitely get this place a little more fixed up and try help them out with this because this is ridiculous. Yeah, they're definitely not going to be in business very long if this is the way they're leaving lawns. So first things first, we are going to try mow some of the front yard here, try get a little more cleaned up because no one should have their lawn looking like this, especially if a landscaping company was just through. They also said they got some grass seed for the uh, ruts in there, so we're going to put that down for them and hopefully make this lawn a little bit better. We're also going to clean up the wood chips, of course. Can't leave those around, but I hope I can try fix this lawn a little bit. I'm okay with some competition, but man, Riverside Landscaping, if they're going to leave lawns like this, yeah, I'm not going to have to worry about nothing. See, this is another lawn that I did. Look at how clean and nice it is versus the lawn that they left. And apparently they charged them a crap ton of money to do this and left it like this. So yeah, at this point, I just feel bad. Luckily, I don't think they touched this side. So it still looks somewhat decent, but this is part of the yard. I don't understand why they wouldn't mow it if it's part of the yard. Okay, so I've got most of the lawn mowed up here. Now I'm just gonna move some of these logs and the trash cans so we can mow up all around here and then try rake up all this grass. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Okay, now we got to try to deal with all these logs. Hopefully I can fit them all in the trailer in one go, but holy smokes, some of these are huge. After getting the trailer completely loaded down with logs, we hopped on the mower and began cleaning up the mess of grass that the previous company had left. And after a little bit of work, the lawn was now looking a lot better. After fixing the ruts, the lawn was now finished and we could collect our paycheck, which brought us to $4,200. And on top of that, we now had a full load of logs to sell for profit. With the logs bringing us in an extra $1,300, we headed back into town and picked up our mower to finish out the day. Well, boys, I stopped at Tractor Supply, spent $500 and picked myself up a pressure washer so I could get everything cleaned off. I could have technically stopped at a car wash, but I figured I was probably gonna have to use a pressure washer a lot more. 
So hopefully this is a worthwhile investment. Anyways, I think I'm gonna try get everything cleaned up here and try list it. Now I only have five thousand dollars, but I did talk to the bank and I think I could get a loan anywhere from five thousand to three thousand dollars. So hopefully that should be just enough to get that new mowing set up. Well, boys, it has been a couple hours here, but I ended up listing this whole deal here: the trailer, my lawnmower, and my little dump trailer. Or I think. What was it like $2,500? I had a dude reach out to me not like 30 minutes after I listed it and said, would you take 2000? Which is ridiculous for this because I think I only got a couple hundred, maybe a thousand into it. So I took that and uh, I think the loan from the bank should come through here in the next hour or so. And we might be able to get that new setup by the end of the day. Well, the guy came by to get it. I think he's just writing out a check or questioning life. I'm not really sure. Check it out. $2,000. That brings us up to $7,000 total. Holy smokes. I think we might be able to do it. I'm going to head to John Deere and see if I can get the rest financed on that whole setup. Well, $5,000 down and I have myself a brand new mowing setup. So this whole setup was $10,000. I have a loan for the rest of the $5,000. Hopefully we'll get that paid off before the end of summer. But we now have a whole mowing setup and a nice one at that. Now I still kept the lawn sweeper just in case we need to uh, pick up some grass, but this should do a heck of a lot better job than that old small mower. And now we have a massive trailer too. Now all this stuff is used, so I'm assuming that this mower is gonna need new blades and probably a couple of little things, but I'd say so far we're doing pretty dang good. Well, this is how the new setup's looking. Got everything loaded up, ready to go for our next job. But hope y'all enjoyed, subscribe, and goodbye.